In this question, we have been asked, what is the best treatment option for a pulpally exposed incisor with an open apex as shown in the IOPM? So, they are asking us about the treatment plan for this tooth. The options given are revascularization, MD apexification, calcium hydroxide apexification or apexogenesis. Now, all of these treatment options are procedures which are done in cases of open apex as we can see in the image. So, how do we decide which treatment option is the best? So, we, there are certain factors which we need to keep in mind. That is, in this case, what we see on the radiograph is that there is presence of a periapical radiolucency around the apex. So, you can see there is a huge periapical radiolucency that is seen here. The walls of the central incisors are thin with an enlarged pulp space. So, you can see this is the these are the walls that are remaining. So, the pulp space has enlarged. So, the walls are very thin. And third is that the root apex formation is incomplete. So, here we saw it's an open apex. So, in this situation, we know that the pulp is necrotic. And because it's an immature tooth with an open apex, we cannot do apexogenesis in this situation. Why? Because for apexogenesis, we require vital pulp. Because the vital pulp is what is going to uh, aid in the continued root development. When there is no vital pulp, apexogenesis cannot be done. Now, this is a necrotic pulp we can, because there is a periapical radiolucency. So, in this situation, apexogenesis cannot be done. Now, we are left with apexification and revascularization. So, calcium hydroxide apexification is usually not advisable because it causes only a very porous dentine bridge formation and it causes decreased tooth strength. So, the prognosis of the tooth becomes poor. So, again, calcium hydroxide apexification is not advisable. So, we are stuck between revascularization or an MDI apexification. Now, we need to understand what is it that we want to achieve from the uh, from this tooth. They have asked us for the best treatment plan. So, the I most ideal outcome would be that the tooth can be saved and the vitality of the tooth can be restored. That is the most ideal situation. That can only be achieved by revascularization. So, the, uh, the objective of revascularization is re-establishment of blood flow and continued root development. So, once the vitality of the tooth has been restored, automatically root development will continue. So, uh, the most ideal treatment would be revascularization. So, why is it that MD apexification is not as ideal as revascularization is because uh, in MD apexification, we will place the uh, paste in the uh, radicular area. And when this space is present for a long time, it leads to weakening of the root structure. So, the best, uh, and since the walls of the uh, tooth are thin, as we saw, the pulp space has enlarged and the uh, remaining dentinal walls have become thin. So, in this situation, the prognosis with apexification would be compromised. So, in such a situation that is given, the revascularization procedure would be the most ideal and the best treatment plan because it will allow thickening of the canal walls, continued root maturation as well as vitality of the tooth will be restored. So, the answer is revascularization.